Hey everybody, it's me Edward Jones back with a new video on the AR pistol project. It's an update, get a grip. So I just made a few purchases today um, that help make this this pistol a bit more ergonomic. Uh, they're all Magpul parts. I'm trying to make this this uh, pistol as uh, save within the balance of tactical and uh, some simplicity. So I'm not sure if I'm, I don't think I'm going to get a red dot sight, but I do want to make this thing a little more ergonomic to operate, a little more comfortable to hold. And I figured I'd go ahead and get the Magpul AFG 2 angle foregrip. Now I was looking, to, I was looking at this and the AFG um, standard, and the difference between the two is that this one had doesn't have these. Uh, they don't have the protective guards on the sides. If you look at the box, you can see them. Um, you can see on the sides of the of the grip, they they flare up. And this one is more uh, more streamlined. So I decided to go with this more streamlined version. I got the AFG2 M lock adapter rail. So it comes with these new um, these uh, special adapters for the M lock system and this rail that help that will help the grip fit on um, fit on the on the on the um, on the forearm. So I'm gonna attach that as well. And for when the time comes for me to get uh, a light attachment for the side of this pistol, I got a M lock rail section. This one has a let's see. This is a M-Lock polymer rail section, 11 slots. So I wanted, to, I went with 11 slots. Um, I wanted to get one that's actually that was that ran full length of the, at least of the sections that have M-Lock uh, cuts, but they were all bought up. <laughs> so uh, this is the longest one, and this is the only longest one they had. This is the only um, 11 slot one they had at uh, the store I went to, but uh, it'll, it'll work for right now. I'm gonna put all this together, and you guys see how it all looks. Oh, I also just two things I wanted to uh, I wanted to correct my last video as I stated before in the comment section. So, I said in the previous video that this one has a carbine length gas system. That's incorrect. This one actually has a pistol length gas system, and the gas block is right here. The car on the carbine length it would be uh, right here, but this one has the pistol length gas system. Uh, I mean, I've uh, I've, found, I've learned that if there any, if there are any feeding issues. Um, with the way I have this set up, I can change that by changing the buffer um, inside the buffer tube. And also, this uh, I'm not going to put a vertical foregrip on this because this is actually 25 and a half inches long. I learned that you actually have to measure from the from the back of the buffer tube to the th to the end of the threads on the muzzle. So we're going to do that right now. It should come up to be 20, about 25 and a half inches. Uh, so yeah, roughly uh, 25 and a half inches. So because the threads, the threads end right here, if I'm not mistaken. And you can't count the rest of the rest of the flash hider. Um, the whole the entire the entire um, pistol has to be 26 and over, 26 and up to to where it becomes just a firearm, and then you can get a, a vertical foregrip. I've seen I've seen photos of guys that get the they get the folding stock attachment. Of the folding brace attachment, I should say, um, which also works for which also works for stocks, um, as it does for braces, and it extends this. It is length in this section a bit more to where it falls within the 26 inch uh, guideline. So stay tuned. Quick tip: when um, when putting your M lock on, I find that it's actually best to do it while the handguard is off. Now, fortunately, the handguard is, is able to come off the off the pistol with. Um, by just by loosening these two uh, Allen screws, and I, I keep an Allen wrench handy inside the grip, so I was able to um, um, get another tool to attach the M-lock rail, and it fits pretty snug. So I just want to share it with you guys. If you're thinking about putting this on your um, on your your rifles or your pistols, that it may be best to have the have the handguard removed. And of course, another tip: it's not a bad idea to have a nice mid-work snack. So I got it attached. It wasn't too difficult. Um, uh, the the angled foregrip comes with one of these uh, kind of grip panels that you can and, you know you can either have a, a fully smooth or you have one that's uh, has a segmented and you can switch it around depending on um, depending on your comfort level. I decided to leave this off and have my um, grip panel in the front. You know, kind of styled, styled like this. I mean, it fit, it you know, fits my hand, you know, pretty comfortably. 
So I'm gonna add another rail, um, the longer one, and then I'll have the whole pistol put together. I want to give a shout out to Magpul for having such um, such detailed uh, information that come with their products. I, I really do I really do like this setup they have for uh, anything you buy from them, including on the um, on the AFG2 box. It has kind of it has a picture of this um, SBR, and it looks pretty cool. It shows you where all their you know all their theory based products can be applied, and I think it's just pretty cool. So I just want to you know add that in there. All right, guys. As you can see, I have, four, I have the, the vertical foregrip installed, and this is how this is how um, I'll hold it. Um, as you can see, why I wanted to get the heavy ball barrel because all this you know. I assume you know, there'd be a lot of heat coming out these out these holes, so I want I want, I want this to be a, you know a very a fairly comfortable shooting experience. So and I think the foregrip really kind of I think it really helps with that. Um, on this side, you can see the um, the rail. And this is where I hope to attach a uh, flashlight attachment uh, when the time comes for me to you know figure out what kind of flashlight I want to get. You know whether I want to get a battery powered one or a rechargeable one. Um, I'm leaning more towards a rechargeable one. I think they um. I think they have a, they have a lot of there are a lot of benefits to having a rechargeable tactical light. I do want to share something with you guys. I'm gonna take this uh I'm gonna loosen this vertical foregrip real quick. Something I found out while I was trying while I was getting the uh, the handguard back back around with the M lock rail installed. So if you're do, if you're if you're putting on this M lock rail, <laughs> that's my phone. Um, you may want to have you want to have this screw um, backed out a bit because what I, fa I found out that if you have if you, if you have it in all the way as it, as it specified you know um, um, by Magpul it come in con it, it contacts the gas block and it keeps it from actually fit it keeps the handguard from fitting all the way down so what you want to do is you want to have this screw just a little bit loose you, know, you can have the other ones tighten up but you want to have this one the one that's close to the gas block loosen and then when you install it, then you can tighten this up, and then it locks, and then everything is um, secured in place. So it, 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 it took me a few seconds to figure out, you know, why wasn't this thing, um, you know, why wasn't this coming together properly? And I figured out that that the the M lock on the in, on the inside of the handguard was coming in contact with uh, with the gas block. But I was able to fix it by just like I said before, keeping this loose, so that when you um, so that there's enough clearance for you to slide the handguard on. And then you can tighten it back up because then this is right. This is this goes right, um, right behind the gas block. Slide this back down. Get a setting I want to have it. That's, that's, that's pretty good. Oh no, I think this is this is just, this is coming go, coming along pretty well. Uh, I think it's looking pretty, you know, pretty tactical. You know, as I like for, as I like for it to be. Again, and um, a few other things I have to get. Like I said before, is a flashlight and um, a sling attachment. I was thinking about doing the on the back on the back of the receiver, doing the kind of the ambidextrous um, back plate for the sling mount. Um, this is also made by Magpul. Um, I saw some plans that showed you that you can get um, an M lock hook or an M lock loop attached to the to the, full, to the form, but I'm not sure if I want to put my sling there. I think I want to have it on the back. So I'll come back with another video. <laughs> I'll come back with another video, just show, showcasing you know um, how much work, how much more work I've done to this uh, to this pistol. But I hope you guys like how it looks as um, as of right now. If you guys have any comments or questions, please uh, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. Any uh, tips you want to share with me or any other viewers, please um, please uh, let your voice be heard. Uh, any gripes, complaints, send me a PM. I see what I can do to address them. But this is just an update on the AR-15 pistol. Uh, get a grip. I'm Edward Jones. And thanks for watching.